for me, a song, it, it's so vital to tell a story in that song, uh, not just to find words that, that fit or that rhyme with each other, but that truly tell a story. That is kind of the goal uh, in, in everything that I write lyrically. Who are the characters here and what do we want to convey? Find myself on that old familiar pathway that leads me down that same old beat. But every day I find I'm leaving him. So we are Matthew Bell and the Next of Kin. That comes from obviously my name, but Jared is my brother in law. He's my wife's brother. Darren is my sister's husband. We we are definitely family oriented and family driven and family focused in, in what we do. So that's where Matthew Bell and the Next of Kin comes from. My soul, thirsty sister, come drink freely, come partake in this water of life. Weary. The bond that we have together is greater than just the business aspect of it. For us, family is is first and it's priority and we intermingle everything we do with family because we wouldn't be here without them and we wouldn't be able to be as successful in terms of the creative process without that inspiration of family. The cool thing about the song Thirsty is this was before we did the Unified Revival Tour and we needed a theme song of sorts. We needed something that was sort of our all-encompassing song. So my wife, Alyssa, had written these lyrics based off of John chapter four from the Bible. Uh, and it is the Samaritan woman at the well. Jared and I were practicing getting songs worked up for uh, this tour. And Alyssa came out with this poem that she'd written. And she said, I've got an idea. I don't know if it's a song. Maybe it can be. Jared had a mandolin. I had my guitar with me. She handed us a sheet of paper. And right then and there, we just, we threw those words onto the music. Thirsty Sister really is born out of our faith and being able to know that there's something beyond us out there, something beyond the tangible and something that we're all sort of in search of, this greater meaning. Thirsty sister, come drink freely. Come partake in this water of life. We're here at Studios at Fisher today doing the final mix of the last three songs of Matthew Bell and the Next of Kin's debut album. We have the opportunity to actually be with Chris Bell as he mixes Hear the Sunrise, which is the title of the album. So this is our title track. I can hear the sunrise. I love just the groove to that and just the way that it's reminiscent of more of like a, you know, almost Motown kind of soulful kind of thing. Looking for words that testify when I see the sunlight. Is there any We just released enough and it really signifies that that our spouses or, or our loved ones are enough they're enough um, if there wasn't anything else that came across in our life that they would be enough if there was never any success if there are never any th any good things that happen beyond this point what we have and what what they mean to us is enough to sustain us. My hand on your waist as your eyes look in mine. A sweet embrace and a gentle goodbye. You say I love you just the same, but remember the why. Oh, why? Did you ever? It made you cry 
She is the, the, the inspiration and the source for every love song that I've ever written. Uh, truthfully, my first song that I ever wrote before she and I were even dating, I wrote for her uh, for her 20th birthday. Uh, she was the, the inspiration for my very first song. I Need You came uh, on the tail end of the, that trip that we took uh, around the Deep South. And just even in the couple of years that we had been married, this realization that I don't tell her often enough how much she means to me. Staring at the sidewalk, hoping that the time won't pass me by. Waiting for you to come home. Standing in the moonlight, oh it looms like a storm inside. My heart wants to stay, my feet want to go. Rage battle in the caverns of my soul I brought you these flowers to say What my words never seem to show That I need you Darling, won't you stay by my side I need you It's necessary, I think, at times to share with the people that you love how important they are, but not just saying the words, I love you. I, I've said those words countless times to my wife, but I Need You kind of came out of, as anybody who's married knows, uh, you, you have challenges and you have things that, uh, that as you grow together and as you, as you become one every single day, you have to be reminded of that. And just to be completely honest, one of those things that, that I struggle with as a husband is vulnerability. And my wife needs to know that I need her. And so that's really where that song came from, was I, I, I never want her to doubt how important she is to me. And I wanted to say it differently than just saying, I love you. She needs to understand that I, I need her. I need you. Darling, won't you stay by my side? I need you. I think that harkens back to what you were saying earlier too about the vulnerability. To be able to be vulnerable enough to not keep people at arm's length. Yeah. To be able yeah. to, to break down those barriers and to be vulnerable enough to, to listen to each other and to, to really understand each other's perspectives. So I think that kind of comes full circle with, with our other songs as well in terms of that vulnerability. Together we will go Cause I need you Oh, I need you Darling, won't you stay by my side I need you a test in patience and waiting and working and honing and then waiting some more and working some more and getting better. Art is not something you do because you want to do it. It's not something to, to do because it, it's an, a good option for you. That's what you do when you have no other thing that you can possibly be happy doing. You have to keep at it. You can't give up because a lot of times artists are making music for the enjoyment for others, but they're also making music in a larger sense for themselves and communicating their passions, their difficult times, their their loves, their their hates, their frustrations. And so that's a part of the process of emoting. And I think it's really important that you never give that up 
even if no one's listening, because it's a part of who you are and a part of your voice. You know, as far as what's next uh, for the band and for the group, music is not a season of our lives. Music is our life. It's not either the passion or the profession. Our desire is for it to be both. Watch him as he walked right in. Turned around, he smiled and whispered in my ear. What are you waiting for? Jump on in. Thirsty sister, come drink freely. Come partake in this water of life. Weary brother, life is fleeting. I know well that won't run. The point being, we love hearing the stories because the stories are what make people and that's what we want to share and that's what we want to hear and that's what we want to be a part of. Thirsty sister, come drink freely, come partake in this water of life. Weary brother, life is fleeting, I know well that